ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 25th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and let's take a look at our Skycam network from ABC 3340. And there's a look at the view over the Tennessee River from Decatur, and we can see that there's a few breaks in the clouds up there, and also a few breaks in the clouds visible even from Mount Cheha. It's not a very large break in the cloud, but we do have a pretty significant cloud cover over the southeastern United States. Cold front has moved down to the Gulf Coast, uh, sort of as we expected yesterday, and uh, that shows uh, the frontal position this morning. And in the upper atmosphere, the uh, flow pattern is rather flat or zonal, and that is actually causing some problems, and the models are changing, and <laughs> that's not, not good for confidence. Temperature-wise, uh, you can see the contrast between the northern tier of the United States and the Gulf Coast where the Gulf Coast is generally in the 40s and 50s, and uh, up there along the Canadian border, they're in the minus 20 values, so uh, quite a bit of contrast. A little bit closer to home, uh, we're kind of watching a wedging situation that uh, is a little bit hard to forecast for today, uh, with uh, temperatures off to the east a, a bit uh, colder. But uh, that uh, I don't think that's going to play a major role in our forecast. And rain-wise, uh, of course, the rain all moved out of here yesterday morning, and we ended up with actually a very nice afternoon yesterday. Now, on the watch warning map, uh, interesting weather pattern here. There's lots of winter weather advisories, as you can see, in the northern Rockies. But also notice a number of winter storm watches uh, from Oklahoma City and uh, down uh, by the Red River all the way across uh, parts of southern Missouri and northern Arkansas and Kentucky, southern Illinois and Indiana. So uh, the developing situation and QPF uh, pretty well nails it here. Uh, the details are what may be changing and of course uh, the problem here is that uh, the models are flipping, uh, especially the GFS. So we're going to go with the GFS for now, but I think there may be some, you know, this is one of those where I certainly want to stay tuned and and uh, be aware that uh, confidence is not particularly high in the forecast from day to day. But the QPF showing a, a good band of precipitation. And, of course, if you use 10 to 1, uh, that would be a tremendous amount of snow across that area. I don't think they're going to get quite that much. All right, here's the 06C GFS model run. And uh, for today, uh, you can see the high pressure is off to the uh, east and northeast of us, and that uh, could set up a little bit of wedging. And you can see that kind of uh, reflected in the pressure pattern over the Carolinas, but I don't really think that's going to impact us. The uh, zonal flow continues as the storm system develops uh, out over the Rockies, and uh, that will be developing a surface low. And it looks like Monday we're going to continue uh, on the dry side, even though we may see a good deal of clouds. Now, the GFS is uh, indicating that the trough is going to kick out on Tuesday, but of course it's uh, it's one of these things that's elongating, and so um, some of the energy may be sticking back there to the back, and that's going to end up with a bit of bad uh, or a bit of uh, precipitation across from uh, Oklahoma across the, the Ohio River Valley, and that is the focus for the winter storm watches for Monday night and Tuesday primarily. The uh, storm kicks out, but notice it leaves a little piece of energy back there off of uh, the Southern California coast, and that takes one surface low with it, and so it looks like uh, Tuesday night, Wednesday could be wet here. The high settles in, uh, and uh, that keeps us dry from uh, for much of uh, the latter half of Wednesday and into Thursday. And then another trough, and this one's digging uh, deeper. This one uh, kicks out from the southwest, and that uh, is going to bring us uh, some cold weather. And... Uh, if you're a, a snow fan, uh, you know, you're going to latch on to the 540 line all the way down to uh, looks like about uh, Mobile and near New Orleans, and you're going to notice all that precipitation. My confidence is not really high because of the changes that have come about in the GFS forecast since yesterday. So uh, Friday, right now, we're going to stick with a forecast that involves uh, rain, liquid, and we'll see and, and watch what happens with that. That trough moves on into the Atlantic, and uh, that means this, uh, surface high pressure settles in over us. And a slight moderation here, as you see the 540 line now uh, up into the Bristol, Tennessee, Johnson City area. And uh, another trough uh, begins to uh, set foot into the eastern half of the country on Sunday, and uh, that will set the, the stage for some colder air once again, as you can see the 540 line coming down 
uh, into the vicinity of Little Rock. All right, let's go out into voodoo country. And uh, the one thing the GFS is still suggesting is that we're going to stay in a rather progressive pattern. And there goes uh, one trough off the East Coast. But we come under a bit of a ridging there around Wednesday the 4th. And uh, not particularly cold. I'd say this looks like uh, probably pretty typical for early February. Then uh, by the end of the period, around the 8th of February, we see another uh, trough in the upper atmosphere. And that uh, underneath that, you can see uh, a front and a surface low. And uh, that looks like a wet pattern. So indeed, it looks like the GFS, if it is right, is going to keep us in a rather uh, unsettled pattern with uh, weather systems every few days. Appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. James Spann will be back tomorrow morning with the next edition. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Sunday and Godspeed. Weather, 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 weather.